Hi again, Year 10s. Example 2. So this is the next example that is on the PowerPoint. It says we need to find out how much are A and B such that 2x plus 9 plus AX minus B is equal to 10X plus 6. So this one doesn't have any squared terms in it whatsoever. So I'm going to highlight the things that are the same. So I've got 2X over here plus AX. And those two things are going to be equal to 10X. So these three things all have to be the same. So from there, I can write myself a little equation. I can say that 2 the coefficient of x plus a, the coefficient of this x, has to be equal to 10, the coefficient of this x. Now, there's no other x's that I haven't highlighted, so I've taken care of all the different values of x. I can go ahead and solve this now. It says 2 plus a is equal to 10, so I can subtract 2 from both sides, and I'm left with a is equal to 8. There's my answer. a is equal to 8. Okay, similarly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all the values that don't have any x's in it. I've got positive 9, that doesn't have any x's. I've got negative b, that also doesn't have any x's. And plus 6, that also doesn't have any x's. And these three things, all these purple bits, all have to be equal to each other. So I can make another equation. 9, from this 9 right here, minus b, there's negative b right there, equals... 6. Now I'm going to have to solve this. I want to find out how much b is. Now there's more than one way I can do this, but I can see the answer. It says 9 take away something is 6. So 9 take away 3 is 6. b must be equal to 3. There's my other answer. a is 8, b is 3. Done.